It's Brandon here with Calvary Chapel Hemet, and we just want to say good morning and welcome to today's Heart to Home Daily Devotional. As always, I hope you guys are all blessed by it. Isn't it great to uh, wake up and start your day out with a little something from the Word of God? Well, this morning I'd like to share with you a few verses out of the book of Habakkuk. Actually, let me go ahead and just set the scene real quick, you know. The book of Habakkuk, uh, the prophet, he was a prophet, and he had found himself uh, living in a very difficult time, much like today. <laughs> uh, the land was full of evil, uh, injustice, tragedy. Habakkuk was a prophet to the southern kingdom of Judah. Um, the people had become idolaters. They neglected the word of God. Um, they had become violent people. There was suffering everywhere. Again, much like the world we live in today. And so Habakkuk had an issue with God. If God is so good, where is he now? How can you allow these things to happen? Don't you see what's happening down here on earth, Lord? Maybe you've had those same kinds of questions for God. I mean, even the most seasoned saint can hear about or witness some kind of evil act and, and wonder why God allows these things to happen. I mean, we have COVID-19. We have the churches being threatened to close. We have protests, violence, anarchy. I mean, like the book of Judges, everyone's doing you know, what was right in their own eyes. You know, again, uh, sometimes we can have the same questions as the prophet Habakkuk. You know, Lord, where are you? When are you going to do something? Don't you see what's happening down here? Well, I'd like to share with you two of the answers that God gives the prophet. The first answer is found in Habakkuk chapter 1, verse 5. And the Lord tells Habakkuk this. He says, look among the nations and watch. Be utterly astounded, for I will work a work in your days which you would not believe, though it were told to you. Now, there's a few things we can learn in that verse. The first is that God is not blind to what's happening. He isn't blind to the violence, the injustice, the evil that was in the prophet's day, and God's not blind to it in our day either, guys. He sees everything that's happening. Well, I mean, if God sees it, then why isn't he doing anything about it? Is God just sitting there watching? Well, of course not. God's at work, guys. That's what he's telling Habakkuk. Not only is he at work, but he says, Habakkuk, I'm doing something so awesome that you wouldn't even believe it if I told you. <laughs> the second answer God gives the prophet is found in Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 4. The Lord tells the prophet to write these things down on a tablet. And then in verse 4 he says, Behold the proud. His soul is not upright in him but the just shall live by his faith. The just shall live by his faith. You see, that's the key. When the world around you seems to be crumbling, we who have been justified, cloaked in the righteousness of Jesus Christ, we shall live by faith. That's the key, guys. We live by faith in God. You see, even though the world we live in is getting worse and worse, and even though there's injustice and disease and violence and anarchy all over the land, I hope you find comfort knowing that God is carefully watching everything. He hasn't abandoned us. He hasn't turned away and forgotten about what's happening down here. Not only is God watching, but you can rest knowing that God is working mightily behind the scenes right now. He's doing something so awesome that even if he told us, we wouldn't believe it, guys. Put your focus on Jesus. Let's keep our eyes on him, and let's continue to live by faith. Amen? All right, guys, let's pray. And so, Father God, uh, Lord, we come before you now. And uh, Father, uh, just pray, Lord, that as we go on in these days, Lord, they seem to be crazier and crazier, Lord. Um, violence, protests, disease, all these things happening, Lord. Uh, sometimes our human fallen nature causes us to kind of question, you know, where are you at, Lord? 
And so, Father, I pray for anyone that's having those questions, Lord, that you comfort them uh, by reminding them, Lord, of uh, this little story in Habakkuk, Lord, that, that uh, you don't turn a blind eye to it, Lord. You haven't forgotten us. You, have, you see everything that's happening right now, Lord, and that you're working right now. You're always working, Lord. May we remember that. You're always working, Lord. Father, you're doing something so great that even if you told us, we wouldn't even believe it, Lord. I pray, Lord, that you help us to live by our faith, Lord, our faith in you, Lord. May we stand on your promises and your word to us, Lord, knowing that uh, you just want to prosper us, Lord, that, that you have our best interests in mind, that you love us, that you'll never leave us, Lord. When we hold on to those things, Lord, it doesn't matter what this world throws at us. We know you're going to get us through it. And so we love you, Lord. We thank you for all that. And it's in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Hey, guys, I hope you have a great day today. We love you. We miss you. We'll see you soon.